Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about low volume or low audio problems in Windows 8. Now I've had this problem happen on my Toshiba laptop and I was listening to um, some YouTube music videos. Wanted to pump up the volume and it actually stayed low all of the time and I was wondering why. So there are several things that can happen and make your video or your audio um, levels low, whatever you're doing, um, if it's music you're listening to on iTunes or Media Player or maybe videos on the web. Um, you got to understand that in Windows, there are several different types of volume controls, and that is often a major problem because the main volume can be to a maximum level, but the um, other volumes can be lower, which makes them... Uh, give out low audio even though your volume's at a hundred percent. So of course the obvious thing is to make sure that your volume control is at a hundred percent if it's too low or it's getting higher. Um, most laptops have these little volume with a plus minus sign on their keyboard so check for that and often goes with the function key on the bottom left and you should see a little slider on your screen show up saying oh, okay I'm getting my volume higher or lower here. First things first. Second of all, of course, if it's you're watching a uh, video on YouTube, uh, make sure that the volume of the YouTube window is higher. When you click a video on your YouTube channel, uh, there's a slider on the YouTube video on the bottom left of the video window. So make sure that it's high enough or else even if your volume is at maximum, you won't be able to hear it as well if it's not at maximum there. Um, if it's a media player that's uh, actually low volume, well, of course, make sure that when you have some kind of media player, uh, for example, the Windows Media Player, it also has a little slider for volume. Make sure that is also um, to the maximum or a high level. That's very important. Now you're thinking, okay, my volumes are 100% everywhere, everything's boosted up to the max, and I still have low audio. Now that can be another uh, problem due to the fact that today's sound cards in tablets and laptops are often controlled by a separate program. For example, in this Toshiba computer, it's a um, eye definition real tech card. And it has its own controller for the sound. So what you want to do is go into um, the search and search for anything that has sound related. So if you type sound, here I get SR SRS Premium Sound HD, which is the Realtek device of my computer and this is one of the problems it will often be controlled so you can um, select what type of device you want to have on or off now in the control panel you have a device so for example if you go into the control panel of your computer you should see something like Realtek HD Audio Manager or something that has audio in the name. Make sure everything there is checked out. My biggest problem I had with my Realtek HD Audio Manager is the fact that when I would go into uh, the SRS Premium Sound, the Premium Sound here was enabled. And I noticed that when it's enabled, I have a much, much, much lower output volume. So make sure that this is uh, checked for because um, you have different controls of volumes through your sound card with this program. And it's completely separate from the Windows volumes. So you got to make sure that whatever you uh, choose it's uh, well set 
usually by playing with any of these uh, settings, you should actually be able to increase. One of the things that I did actually personally was to just disable the SRS premium sound. I didn't want any of the computer uh, programs from my Realtek card to actually interact. All I wanted was the volume controls that are from Windows. And that solved my problem. So um, these are all little steps that you should check for. Look in your control panel for anything that, that, ha that has audio in it. Uh, check for all the volumes, the different types of volumes you might have. And uh, hopefully you'll find a way to actually boost your volume. It's very compl complicated to make a video uh, to explain precisely on every machine because not all laptops and tablets have the same sound cards and the same programs. So I can't do a, a specific video for your machine, but I can do a general video like this one to try and uh, make you understand how you can check out for the different problems with the sound. It's um, It rarely is a problem with the computer. Um, I've had a few messages saying, I think my laptop's broken. Sound is uh, really low, even at max volume. Um, I've never really seen a laptop sound uh, card that was broken or something. So it's very, very rare. With this video, hopefully you'll have clues on how to uh, just simply go um, in the control panel and check out the different volume settings. Of course, you can also go and click the, your search and go into um, the volume and click adjust volume, system volume here. Check out that all the little sliders are at maximum on every device that you're trying to check for. And uh, hopefully that will fix any sound problems with your computer. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And hopefully you were able to get better sound out of your laptop or tablet computer thanks to this video. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.